Hi everyone, it's Anne Marie from Scrap Doll 7 Creations, and today I'm coming to share some uh, wooden gingerbread people <laughs> that I made um, over the last, you know, couple of days. Okay, um, I just finished up the last um, one tonight um, after I got home from work and had dinner and stuff like that. Okay, um, so the um, so these wooden gingerbreads came from, I got these guys from the Woodpecker store on Amazon. Okay, so if you're interested in uh, purchasing ones like this, um, and um, you can get them on Amazon. So it's the Woodpecker store. Okay, and what's nice about them is that they're very chunky <laughs> and they stand up really well, as you can see. Um, so yeah, so I, I had ordered five of them, so I made five, and I just ordered another set of five um, because this little girl here doesn't have a partner. <laughs> so I need, uh, I need to have um, some more couples here, okay? Um, so let's take a look. The, um, I painted all of them with um, this folk art paint. Okay, and this came in, what is this? Cinnamon. Okay, so this is folk art matte paint that I got at Michael's, um, and it's in um, the uh, cinnamon um, shade, okay? All right, and then for the icing, I used a paint pen um oh and it's over on my desk um hold on guys <laughs> hold on um, okay 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 so <laughs> so the paint pen that i used was this um uni pasca paint pen uh, and actually i got that in a pack of um, paint pens so these are the paint pens um that i that well this is the pack of paint pens that i got it from okay so it comes in all like the primary colors um there's a pink there um so I had um, one lady that I watch on YouTube. Um, she used these, and they turn they look really good. So I um, I uh, picked myself up a set here. Um, so yeah, so I used the white pen, okay, to make the icing around each one, okay. Um, and then I just used some laces that I had in my stash, some bows. Um, Rick Rack, you know, just whatever. Um, and I, I kind of did them all differently. I just kind of wanted to see which, which I liked the best, um, out of all of the, like the different things. Um, so let's take a look at the first couple here. <laughs> all right. So there's this guy and then this little girl. Okay. So yeah. So for, for these two, I just kind of did a little twirly kind of thing for that for his hair and all the way around okay and I made these guys in pink these are my pastel pink gingerbreads okay um I also used um my um Tim Holtz distress ink in oh geez it's, it's over on my table again <laughs> hold on guys ah I go from one desk to the next. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. So, yeah. So, I use the Tattered Rose Distress Oxide, okay, to make their cheeks. And then I used a white gel pen to make the little um, swirly things. Okay. And I use my white gel pen to do, like, the um, inside of their eyes. Okay. Um, and then for her, and well, for both of them, I use these, um, pink pearl, um, gems. And then I had this, uh, this pretty pink lace I made for her skirt. And then these little pink bows I had in my stash. 
okay and then it goes all the way around to the back okay ah, so that's her and then oh sorry guys oh jeez. okay yeah and then I just gave him a bow tie and his little buttons okay oh and I also use the peachy keen I believe these are the <sighs> oh, again <laughs> gotta go over to my other table We're not even over there. My desk and everything is a mess over here. Everything is, ah! <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so this is the face that I used. And I think it's the wide-eyed kid assortment, but I'm not sure, and I don't know where the package is. But it's a peachy keen face. <laughs> um, and I used all those faces on all the gingerbreads. Okay, all right, so that's the first couple. Okay, uh, and then the second uh, gingerbread couple is, is uh, traditional Christmas uh, colors here. For these guys, I just went around with that, that white paint pen and I just did stitching all the way around. Okay, and then I, you know, I again I use that tattered rose. Distress ink to make the cheeks and add my jelly pen to make the little swirls um, and with and the little dot in the eye. And then I just use one of these little red bows I had gotten from Joann's and some pink pearl and then these red pearl um, gems for buttons. Okay, so that's him. And then this is the girl. Now, I think maybe her bow is a little too big <laughs> for her head, um, but it was already glued on and I wasn't going to rip it off, so she's just got a nice big old bow in her head. Okay, and then I used this red lace to make her skirt, and I, I had this other red trim that I put on top of it for her waistband. Okay, and then, you know, on the back, it was glued. So, yeah. Okay, so that's these two guys. Okay. And then the last one I made was this girl. Okay, and this time I used um, some white rickrack to make like her um, icing on her arms and legs. Okay, and this one, she has a smaller bow, which I think looks, I think looks a little bit better. <laughs> um, I just added my paint, white paint pen to make her hair. Um, again, I used a peachy keen face stamp. Um, and then, you know, I put the trim on her legs and then I added that red um, ruffle trim for her skirt, some red pearls for her buttons. And that's the back. Yeah. I think she came out real cute. When I get the boy, he's going to have the same, you know, I'm going to use the Rick Rack for him. So um, when I get uh, more of these little chunky guys. But these were really fun to make. I had a really good time making these, uh, these little gingerbreads. <laughs> I do like the pink couple too. They turned out really cute. <laughs> okay. All right. So, uh, you know, let me know if you have a favorite couple, which one you like the best. Um, uh, and I will be back. Um, I'm, I, like I said, I ordered more of these from that, um, woodpecker store on Amazon. So I should get them by middle of the week, I think, um, you know, and, but I probably won't be able to make any more until the weekend. Um, cause I'm back at work. Uh, today was our first day back. Um, uh, we have a week of training before the kids start back to school next, um, Wednesday. So we have the Labor Day weekend. Um, and then, uh, we have one more day of, you know, professional development 
Tuesday after Labor Day, and then the kids start Wednesday. <laughs> so they're in school Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So, um, but uh, yeah, so I'll have a nice long weekend. I, I can do some crafting, some more crafting. So yeah. All right, guys. So here's one last look at these little gingers. They were fun to make. All right. All right, let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.